Hello guys and welcome to today's insane, and that's right, insane Black Ops 4 TM gameplay. And today you're gonna see this time this time is the first time I have ever used this gun. Okay? Well I tried using it a little bit, but as in like for a gameplay, this is my first gameplay with this gun. And you're gonna see why this is my first gameplay with this gun. So story time. Before patch, this gun was trash. This gun was just incredibly trash. I, you know, I leveled it up, tried getting attached for it, and it was just awful. It was actually the worst SMG in the game, by far. They then buffed this gun after patch, and as you're gonna see, this gun is insane now. This thing is insane. This is, in my opinion, the best SMG in the game, and quite possibly my favourite gun in the game right now. Now, there's a little bit of an iffy problem with that, being that this gun is now probably the best SMG in the game, at least I feel it is, which is, this gun is kind of pay to win now. If you didn't get this gun, I feel sorry for you, because this gun is nuts. Honestly, like, as you can see, are you seeing how fast I'm killing with this? Now bearing in mind, the attachments do make this gun what it is, so you do have to have some good attachments to make it as good as it is here. Look at that, look how quick he dies. Again, people are dying no time at all. And I feel that this is the first SMG that actually feels like an SMG. Because this is the only SMG where we're actually up close. I don't think any AI can actually beat this. Yeah, look how quick it kills. So you want to know attachments, because again, I'm going to give you attachments if you've got this gun. Again, I hope you have this gun, because if you don't, you are missing out big time. This has rapid fire 1 and 2. It has hybrid mags. And what else do I have? It's something else. Grip. So, those are the attachments. Rapid Fire 1, Rapid Fire 2, Grip and Hybrid Mags. You can change those out if you want, but I think Hybrid Mags is really important, and I'm not sure the difference between Rapid Fire 2 and 1, but ever since using Rapid Fire 2, I've kept using it, because the recoil is not too hard to control. It's got a little bit of recoil, but once you know the pattern, it's super easy to control. And anyway, we've got the Sniper's Nest in. We've got the Jimmy and Jeffries, aka Taz Juniors, aka The Strike Team. So yeah, you're going to see, this gun is just nuts. Look at how quick that kills. This is, I'm not speeding up the gameplay or anything, it is genuinely killing that fast. This SMG is the first SMG in this game that feels like an SMG. You're not going to get gunned by an AR up close if you use this thing, I'm telling you. Again, even at distance, it's got, it's got, it's, you know, it's decent. But yeah, that's why you need the hybrid max, because again, this tears through bullets super fast. But it has, again, if you can master the recoil, which isn't too hard in my opinion, th this gun's yours. Like, th you should use this. If you want to go to SMG, this is the go to SMG now. This is the best SMG in the game. This is my favourite SMG in the game. It has replaced the sword for me. It's a shame that you can't use these guns in competitive, otherwise, I'd use them in league play, but it is what it is. So now. I'm hoping Triarch goes down the route, because um, I have a sneaky suspicion this gun could end up getting a nerf. Which would suck, to be honest, because I don't think it should get a nerf. This gun needs to stay the way it is, and I feel they need to buff the other SMGs. That's how this needs to go, because this, again, this first SMG, and this guy is super unlucky, I just boost right in front of him. Doesn't matter though, gets me my second set of Jimmy and Jeffries, aka Taz Juniors, aka The Strike Team. But yeah. SMGs, all the other SMGs need to be buffed to match this, except for the, uh, what was that one, the Damon 3XB. I'm going to get a gameplay with that. That gun's, you know, got buffed to a relatively decent level, I'd say. It's not the best SMG, though, because this, this is by far. I think it goes, I think this is the best SMG now, the Switchblade. The Sorg is second best, and then third would be the Damon, I'd say. That's, that, that's my order currently, I, and I don't know about the rest. The rest is a bit, you know... Hit or miss, it depends what you think of them. But yeah, this gun's nuts. If you have this, please, 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 please try this. You are missing out. And if you don't have this gun, I feel sorry for you, because honestly, it is, I'm just going to be quite frank here, it's quite bullshit if you don't have this gun. If for whatever reason you didn't have the game at this time, or you didn't earn it, because again, this gun sucked. This gun sucked when it was available to them. So, and if you didn't decide to earn it, because it, again, it did suck, there was no point getting it, really then I feel sorry for you, because this is the best SMG in the game. Try it, use it, and I'm not just saying this, this is my favourite SMG, you're probably going to see way more gameplays coming from this. Also got a nice little camo on it as well, it looks pretty cool with that. Yeah, the recoil's easy to manage, at least in my opinion. 
it's, it's a bit of like, once you know the recoil, it's easy to learn. So yeah, rapid fire one, rapid fire two, grip, and hybrid mags. Hybrid mags, I'd say, is quite important. This, this thing tears through bullets, but rapid fire in one and two, just make this gun elite. So yeah, guys, try out this gun. It is the best SMG in the game. And hopefully, again, Treyarch doesn't nerf this, because again, this is the first SMG that feels like an SMG. Like, it will kill up close. You will be an AR, as long as you hit your shots. Every other SMG feels like you could lose at any given moment to an AR. But this is the first one where you can actually win if you hit your shots. So yeah, hopefully Treyarch buffs the other SMGs, because this is the best SMG now, by far. And as you can see, 54 and 1. Disgusting gameplay. With the Switchblade, again, the best SMG in the game, no doubt, no question in my mind. And uh, if you enjoyed that gameplay, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, subscribe notifications on. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye!